Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a twice turn bowl. And this one's a little bit different. I didn't bag this one up. <clears throat> I turned this one to about 3 eighths of an inch thick. And then I put some ingrain sealer on it and set it up on a shelf for a couple of weeks. And when I checked it, it after a couple of weeks it was 14%. Um, it's been kind of dry here in Houston uh, we've had with the cold fronts coming down so the humidity has been pretty low so it dried out a lot faster than I thought it would but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color it <clears throat> I'm gonna try to make some orange this time I've done turquoise with the blue and the green uh, dollar store watercolors but I'm gonna try and see if I can do an orangey color this time on this hackberry bowl it's about nine inches across so here I'm just going through taking the wax off. Um, it actually didn't distort a whole lot. I was surprised by the time I got done scraping everything and getting it sanded and everything. Did. It was about an eighth of an inch to three sixteenths on the sides. Um, the rim was an eighth of an inch, but the sides went down to about three sixteenths all the way down to the bottom. Here I'm just cleaning everything up, <clears throat> sand the inside too at the same time. And then here I'm going to put on an acrylic black, uh, which I, if you've seen any of my other videos, I do it all the time. And this, what this does is just spills the grain. I'll sand most of this off and it'll leave black inside the grain. And it adds a contrast to the colors that I'll put on here in a minute. start coloring here. Um, as the title says, these are dollar store colors. Um, they're acrylic watercolors. There's a dollar store right down the street from the shop where I work and I can go pick them up whenever I need to. They usually have them supplied. Here I'm just using a yellow and I probably could have finished the bowl in the yellow color. I mean it actually looks pretty good with the brown bark inclusions that come with the hackberry. Um, but I was trying to shoot and see if I could mix up the yellow and the red. And the red, if you can see in, in the carton there, is actually looks more like a pink. If you put it on a piece of paper, it, it, it actually is kind of pink. But, gotta go. I can always turn the color off if I don't like it, so and just color it yellow, which actually looks pretty good, like I said.
that actually does make it kind of an orangish color. It's a little pinkish, um, but I'm going to fix that here in a minute. Put a little bit more yellow on it, on top of it, and blend it in real good. <clears throat> My secret ingredient you'll see here in a minute will be Mountain Dew. Actually, I'm just kidding. It's a bottle of water, and I'll use the water to blend the colors together after I get all the colors on there. So as you can see, after blending it together with water, the color actually did come out pretty good. It's not quite an orange, but it's pretty close. It, it looks awfully nice. I like it. Alright, here we are after letting all the color dry, and I'm going to put sanding sealer on here. Uh, this is a lacquer sanding sealer. I actually end up putting two coats on the outside, um, <clears throat> just to seal it a little bit better. It was taking it pretty pretty well, so I want to make sure. And I also want to say that anybody that tells you that you can't grit your project after you color it and seal it and they're wrong um, I grit everything after I after I seal it real good you, you can grit it and the color doesn't come off
here's our finished piece. I hope you like it. If you do, I would appreciate it if you hit the button. And if you're not a subscriber, I ask that you would subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. I hope to see you the next time.